Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Charlotte, North Carolina, undeniable Tessa Blanchard! Well, Brad, with two matches left, Team USA may very well have saved their best for last, and if you're in a must-win situation, who better to have represent you than Tessa Blanchard? Nobody. Tessa Blanchard competing here tonight in her first ever Canusa Classic. She's set to go one-on-one -on -one with KC Spinelli, a Canusa veteran. This is sure to be one hell of a contest. And it's crunch time for Team USA. See Spinelli sizing up the competition here, wearing that Canada sweater. Big fight feel here in this matchup. And this oh, Spinelli's got a whole section. I think she's got a whole crowd. And Brad, I just talked a little bit earlier about how Casey Spinelli is a Canusa veteran. This is her third Canusa Classic with Brad, her record in this tournament, 0-2. She has not won a match in the Canusa Classic. She has a chance not only to win her first match in the Canusa Classic here tonight, but to win the, the whole thing. If she can defeat Tessa Blanchard here tonight, she'd be a hero. Casey Spinelli, a true Canadian hero. You can hear her saying that for years to come if that happens. Listen to this crowd. 50-50 split. Casey Spinelli, Tessa Blanchard. Big fight field here at London Comic Con. Match number six of the 2018 Canusa Classic. Listen to this crowd. For Tessa Blanchard and Team USA, it is must win. For KC Spinelli, there's an entire country riding on your back. You can be the hero. And there's the bell. This match is officially underway. Spinelli versus Blanchard. And Blanchard looking unimpressed with KC Spinelli. And Casey Spinelli looks like she's ready to go here, Brad. Well, Spinelli clearly has recovered from last week. Well, she's got a lot, of, a lot to prove. She had a lot of fun last week, Brad, but it's all business here tonight. That was last week. This is now. Listen to the crowd here, Brad. And you can see almost a... a, a oh, this is shades of Joey Ryan and Johnny Gargano. This is almost a nonchalant look on the face of Blanchard, and you can see Spinelli is focused. Have you ever seen Casey Spinelli look more never. confident than she does right now? Not, I've never seen her more confident, never seen her more focused, never seen her more ready for action than she is right here tonight. She understands what this opportunity oh! in front of her is. Laser focus for Casey Spinelli. Repeated strikes. Benelli is all over Tessa Blanchard oh. here in the early going. How about this? The power of Spinelli. Stalling suplex. Into a cover, this could do it early. And only a two count there. Blanchard able to kick out, but notice how she's 
giving herself a breather now on the outside of the ring. I don't think she was expecting that from Spinelli. Well, Tessa Blanchard rolling to the floor to regain composure here, Scott. And it's almost like Spinelli's being fueled by the fact that it is obvious that Tessa Blanchard is underestimating her. Absolutely. Spinelli's got to be careful here, though, Brad. Got to be careful not to get overzealous. And Spinelli. Staying right on Blanchard, and Blanchard, again, creating distance. It's going to be smart on the, on the part of Blanchard, though. Well, Blanchard is, is trying to cut the focus of Casey Spinelli, cut oh. that confidence. Well, it, I think it's more than that, though, Brad. She can sense that right now Casey Spinelli is obviously fired up. Oh, absolutely, and if you can calm that fire. Yeah, try to let it burn itself out a little bit here. Oh, hang on Spinelli a second. Spinelli's arguing with the official. Tessa Blanchard takes advantage. And now dragging Spinelli to the outside, and it's all over her. Oh, what a chop! And another one, and a third. The fire still burns in Spinelli. Casey Spinelli unloading right now. Face first off the ring apron. Spinelli not done. Gonna take her on a tour of Comic Con here, uppercut. Oh. Chop right there to the chest. What a kick to the midsection there. I'll stop anyone oh dead in their tracks. And Tessa Blanchard answering with chops of her own. Well, make no mistake about it, Brad. Tessa Blanchard, one of the best in the world, bar none. Okay. And Spinelli thinks that she has a, a claim to that stake as well. And if she picks a victory here, she'll have a gold medal to prove it. Well, oh, absolutely. Casey Spinelli. Might be one of the most overlooked professional wrestlers. Not just in Canada, but I'll say it in the world. Oh! Face first off the ring post goes Tessa Blanchard. And she spills into the front row. And look at the look in the face of Spinelli. Spinelli, this is the side of Spinelli we don't usually see. Casey Spinelli, usually a fun loving. I like it. It's a new side of Spinelli. I like it too, Scott. This is a, a, a focused Spinelli, Brad. This is a dangerous Spinelli. Spinelli had a steam nobody home. Trying to slide her way out of the way there. Tessa Blanchard just taking advantage there. Spinelli getting caught up in the ropes. Now Blanchard just drags it back in by her hair. And a straight forearm shot by Tessa Blanchard. You see this. Again, by this slow, methodical pace by Blanchard, trying to weather the early storm of Spinelli. And Tessa went for an elbow drop. Nobody home may have just dislodged her shoulder on the rope. That's the short one, ribcage first on that rope as well. And that's just pure elevator cable. A little bit of plastic covering. There's no give to those ropes. Tessa Blanchard with the head. Oh! Steam and a jump. Oh, right to the small of the back there. Lodge a vertebrae cover, two kick out. Got the intensity of Tessa Blanchard is unmatched. Everything she does is, I mean, the only word to describe it is intense. Well, it's, it's not just intense, but everything she does is worth a purpose. There's no waste in motion. But Spinelli looking to match intensity with intensity here tonight. Blanchard kicking the legs up from oh! under Spinelli and then a lung blower. Blanchard rolling Spinelli into the center of the ring before going for the cover here and Spinelli kicks out. And perhaps a victim of ring positioning there was Blanchard. Well, Blanchard had to roll Spinelli to the center of the ring. Not able to go for the cover because he's too close to the ropes. Blanchard now. Looking for an Indian death lock. Tries to put some pressure on the knee of Spinelli there. A nice transition there. Now into a almost a, a half mount. Close, straight, close fist to the face of Spinelli. And she's trying to show the official it's an open fist. Well, that is 100% clearly a closed fist. Now a unique submission hold. She's got the legs grapevine. She's got a bow and arrow up top. Oh, yeah. 
and Spinelli looking like a human pretzel here. But Dennis Stacker, body with anticipation. Blanchard, Blanchard, though, wisely keeping her shoulders off the net, not in an opinion predicament. And Spinelli grabs hold of the rope. Again, a victim of ring placement. Tessa, why you the five? Yes, you can't get the five. You're disqualified. Tessa Blanchard knowing full well she has to do a five count before she's forced to relinquish the holds. And Spinelli, you saw, and this is what we were talking about, Brad, the, the intensity of Spinelli is, is, is dwindling here. As she's in for the, let's face it, one of the fights of her life. Oh, absolutely. Anytime you're in the ring with Tessa Blanchard, it's a fight for your life. Spinelli ducks the clothesline. There! But it was Tessa Blanchard reversing it into almost a single arm DDP. She might have hurt herself in the process, though. And both women down, and again, you can hear the crowd here. Brad split right down the middle. The jawbreaker. And a clothesline. Down goes Spinelli, and now Tessa Blanchard. Ascending the turnbuckle here. They're looking to keep Team USA alive in this tournament. But Spinelli fighting back. Spinelli matching Tessa Blanchard up. On a se second turnbuckle here. Oh, and a huge oh, headbutt. Down goes Spinelli, up goes Blanchard. Oh! oh a... That was almost a, a, again, those two knees right to the shoulder. That might have separated the, the shoulder there, Spinelli. Wait a minute. And you can hear Spinelli just crying. That might have. This might be over. Spinelli is screaming. The official couldn't see if she can continue. Because of plans, you're demanding the official get in the ring and count. And this, this might be over. Spinelli might be done. Oh, forget the 10 count, get some help out here if she's hurt. Well, I heard the referee asking if Spinelli can continue. Well, you can hear the screams and the cries from Spinelli, Brad. I, I wouldn't be surprised if, if that shoulder separated. Could be a broken collarbone, could be a multitude of things. She got back to her feet and Tessa Blanchard is, come on. And Tessa Blanchard's gonna just throw Spinelli into the ring. Spinelli's hurt here, Brad. Oh, absolutely, she's hurt. Into the cover, this cover could do it. two. And how, why? Spinelli kicks out. Spinelli's shoulder might be Watch dislocated, it. fractured, broken. Oh, I'm but, not a doctor. But Brad, this match means so much to Spinelli. Oh, absolutely it does. And she's, well, she's fighting. Fighting back with one arm. But how, how long can she, realistically, how long can she last against Tessa Blanchard with one arm? Hard enough for two. You would think not very long, but Casey Spinelli with the weight of a nation riding on her. Oh, Samoa, Samoa dropped. dropped! But again, just the impact, jarring that shoulder, and Spinelli unable to capitalize. And again, this is, that just goes to show what this is. We've seen it all tournament long, Brad. These women just fighting through the pain. Now just exchanging. And Spinelli trying to throw as many rights as she can because she's got no, none left. Just a pie face from Blanchard and Spinelli fighting back. Oh, but the right hand working just fine for Spinelli. Chops and forearms and kicks, and a shoulder tackle into the corner. Spinelli firing back here. Irish whip, then plant to the corner. And a hip check there, and now oh. a cross body. And Spinelli with one arm looking to pick up a victory for Canada. No, kick out. How fitting would that be if Spinelli was able to win this whole thing for Canada? Injured. The fighting spirit this country has. Absolutely, it is. And what's Spinelli thinking here? 
Well, she's thinking about ending this matchup, no doubt. She now goes up to the top rope. Casey Spinelli looking for a moonsault. Nobody home. And Tessa Blanchard now. And, and that might have been. Looking to pick up the straps here. High risk, no reward there. Oh! A cutter! Blanchard into the cover. Hooks both legs away from the rope. And Spinelli kicks out. Spinelli able to get her shoulder up. But you saw the way Tessa Blanchard hooking both legs to keep both of them away from the bottom rope. Not going to be a victim of ring positioning again in this matchup. And Tessa Blanchard now ascending the turnbuckles. We're going to put Spinelli away here. Spinelli sidesteps. Oh, what a clothesline! A roaring clothesline by Spinelli. Could this be enough? This might be Is enough. Is Canada going to win it? No. And Blanchard barely able to kick out. And Brad, either way, even if Spinelli wins this, the main event tonight does still happen. Despite the fact Canada would already have won the tournament. What a main event it's going to be. Well, of course, Lufisto going one on one with Jordan Grace. Hang on cover here, two. But we got to figure out if that match is going to be, it's either going to be for all the marbles or one hell of an exhibition. Either way, it's going to be a hell of a contest. Spinelli, you still, you got to feel for Spinelli here, Brad. You know she's hurt. Tessa now just pulling her up by her hair. Well, I don't think Spinelli's going to anything left. Spinelli might be going here. For that hammerlock DDT. Roll up, roll up, hang on here, too. Oh, she got it. it. She got it. Canada wins. Team Canada has just won the Canusa Classic. Winner of this contest, KC Spinelli. That is the biggest victory in the career of KC Spinelli with, victory, with one arm. Canada wins. Four. Are the, you kidding me? The best of seven series ends in six. Canada was behind two to one, went on to win three straight and win the 2018 Canusa Classic. That's got to be the comeback. The it's, comeback that we will forever talk about. Well, and Brad, we. Unbelievable, Brad. We, we, we talked about how much. This match meant to Spinelli. We talked about the fact that she's never won a match here in the Canusa Classic. And now she's won a huge one here. And Tessa Blanchard is incensed with the official. And we've still got a main event. We do still have a main event. What a win. I'm blown away. And Tessa Blanchard being greeted by two scoops chance. I I'm in shock. 